In this episode of We Are Adventure Riders, we cross the border to Turkey. The bike gets a well-needed service. We have one day to see as much of Istanbul as possible. And we cross a big milestone as we officially ride our bike into Asia. Ready, Lucy? Ready, Lucy? We are in Turkey! Holy shit, balls! We rode a motorcycle from the UK to Turkey. Come on, look at the entrance you get in Turkey. That's like better than any other country so far, isn't it? Welcome, welcome to our country. Hello. Nutrition. Okay. You have marijuana with you. Hmm? You have marijuana with you. No. I need marijuana. No, we don't have. Good luck in your search. <laughs> I think the border is pretty much done, but there's another one here. Let's find out what this one wants from us. The last checkpoint, Lucy. Okay, George. Hmm? Yeah, that's me. Where are you going? I don't know yet. <laughs> Towards Istanbul first. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where did he come from? Can we say we're in Turkey now? That actually says welcome to Turkey. Again, we're in Turkey. <laughs> okay, so we're 230 kilometers from Istanbul. Uh, it's a little intimidating coming in. It's exciting and a little bit intimidating just because it's one of the biggest cities in the world and it's got, as far as I'm aware, a reputation for some crazy traffic. So we're sort of in the southwest of Istanbul looking for a motorbike shop called GS Moto where potentially we can get a service and a bit of work done on the bike. Well, we're looking for the place just up here. Right, so we're in GS Moto, we're getting a full service here. They're sorting the bike out 100%, fixing a few little issues. But the biggest thing we need to fix is our final driving shaft is stuck on. We knew this before we left the trip, but now we're realizing it could be quite a big problem, potentially at some point. So before we head off to the Pamir Highway, um, before we leave Istanbul, the Pamir Highway, we need to get it fixed. And it could be a job that takes one hour, it could be a job that takes four hours, or worst case scenario, we need a, a whole new drive shaft, which is thousands of euros. So fingers crossed they can get it off in an hour or two. Oh, they managed to get it off. It's great, quite, kind of easy. But it is all super rusty and dirty, so we're pretty bad at doing this work now. We also had some problem with our pannier from when we fell over a few times, so they're kindly sorting out as well. They're literally doing everything. We just pulled up here without any cooking. I just arrived and then just served the whole bike, fixed the drive shaft, fixed everything. Just amazing, amazing. So the first thing to do on your first morning in Istanbul is to come to a local cafe and eat like the locals. Turkish coffee, a Turkish tea and some special toast. And our whole breakfast was only 103 lira, which is about five pounds. And that was for two special toasts, a coffee and a tea. Who's ready for the day? I'm ready for the day. Are you ready for the day? Yeah, I'm ready for the day. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Must try in Turkey is their famous baklava, which is like a pastry dessert snack type thing. The classic one is the pistachio, mm. and it's a sweet, nutty pastry. Yeah, so good. And we got pistachio and hazelnut, tried a few little ones. Really good for a boost of energy to keep you going.
we're walking around the Grand Bazaar, which is one of the oldest and largest uh, covered markets in the world, with more than 61 streets and 4,000 shops. It's one of the world's most popular tourist attractions, with something like 90 million people coming here. And it's considered maybe the first shopping mall the world ever has. shops are a little bit nicer than we thought they would be. It's quite overwhelming and it's super busy. We expected like one of these little Asian markets where everything's just sort of craziness but actually inside it's really beautiful. It's a really nice place and there's loads of shops selling a lot of upmarket things. and it connects the old and the new part of the European side. It's like a famous area for fish and we just had the balik egg which was quite nice but it was basically a small fish in a very big piece of bread so it's okay. Alright we're back at GS Motor after spending a full day in Istanbul yesterday and they've done everything needed on the bike and they've also ordered us a new set of tyres that they're going to send to Trabzon, the other side of Turkey uh, we'll meet them there and get them fitted in a, in a week or two which is so good and we're just getting suited up after a few days rest and heading towards the Black Sea Let's go! Thanks again! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Thank you so much! Yeah, we Oh, we're back on the road, and again it feels great, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is a pretty monumental moment on our trip. As we all know, Istanbul is the city where west meets east, where Europe crosses to Asia. And right now, we are just going on to the bridge that crosses over the Bosphorus Strait through Istanbul. So we are officially saying goodbye to Europe and good hello to Asia! Lucy, we did it! We actually rode our first bike to Asia. Woo -hoo -hoo! Welcome to Asia! Big grin on my face. I think we're just coming through the sort of central business district on the Asian side of this town. Well, after a pretty long and fairly uneventful ride from Istanbul, we've made it to the Black Sea coast. It's the first time both Lucy and I have been to the Black Sea. So far, it certainly doesn't look like the Mediterranean. It's not crystal clear, blue waters. Steep hill leading down to a grassy patch by the sea. We're gonna give it a go. Okay, that's nice. We can camp here. 